Hi everyone, it's Claire here today with the first video of the Killing Kit series for 2019. I'm doing this series in collaboration with the Counterfeit Kit Challenge um, and I will link to them below. Um, all of the places that you can find them on the old interwebs in case you've not come across them before. Essentially, this series aims to offer some ideas to help you finish off your current kit or the remains of older kits that you might have lying around in your stash. And when I started this series in May of 2018, I had leftovers of quite a few kits and a new kit on the way each month. I was a bit overwhelmed by all of the product that I still had sat there that I wasn't using and happily I've worked quite hard on the series. Um, it's a lot harder to do these voiceovers than you might imagine. And I now only have the leftovers of seven kits, which you'll see at the start of this video. Um, I'm fairly happy to have whittled down my stash so much. Um, and I hope that if you've been following us for a long time, you've had some successes as well. Those of you that have been following me for a while um, or follow me over on Instagram will no doubt have seen some of these little cards that I'm making today before. I tend to make them fairly often at the end of craft sessions um, or at the end of, of a kit. Um, and I typically make them in batches like I am today when I have lots of little thin strips left over. It's also one of the best ways that I can think of to use the branding strips that come at the bottom of 12 by 12 papers. I love to use this kind of method on smaller cards like I am today with these 3 by 3s and I also use them at the bottom of some of my layouts to kind of create a, almost like a block of branding strips or thinner strips um, and then I will sometimes use them to kind of create a mat for my photos as well so there's lots of different ways that you can kind of use these smaller strips um, and hopefully I might do another video or two of these strips um, before we finish the Killing Kit series um, as I whittle down these last few kits. The method that I'm using today is really, really simple. Um, as you'll see, I've basically just stuck some of these strips onto the small card bases. Then I've stitched over the top of them with a zigzag stitch and um, I then use a basic kind of formula for embellishing them. I'll use a couple of stickers, um, little labels, maybe um, one or two die cuts, something like that. If you've got a die cut sentiment, you could use those too. Um, and then I'll add a small embellishment, like a little resin flower, an enamel dot, um, or some little sparkly gems. And that's it. It's a really, really simple way to use up these little bits of leftovers that you have in your kit. So I'm hoping that you'll give it a try and that you'll share it with us over in the Facebook community for the Counterfeit Kits Challenge, which I will link to below. That's it for today. Um, come and find me if you have any questions.